Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video we'll see how to create a maze in Excel using VBA macros. The method used follows the randomized depth first search algorithm and that's probably the easiest way to create a maze with a computer. And there are other methods to do it if you're interested to know more about it, have a look at the Wikipedia article. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. You can also download this file from the blog and I'll leave the link in the description too. I'm gonna close this file and we're gonna move to a new file where we're gonna create the maze from scratch. So I have already formatted here the column width and the row height and we're going to use the range B2 to U11. So let's move to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a module here and we're going to have a first macro called init maze where we're going to set up some um, initialize some some variables and we're going to also format the, the, the layout. So with range B2 U11 we're going to add some borders which are going to be um, thick. That should look like this. And we're going to also add the interior color black and that will look like this. So we don't see the borders but the borders are still there. Now we're going to use two variables R for rows and column for, uh, and C for column and we're gonna start in in cell B2 so that's row 2 column 2 and I'm gonna declare these um, these variables up here at the module level as an integer and C as integer and we're gonna call a new procedure that, that will be cave mesh. The first thing we do here is to check if the cell has been visited. So if cells are comma C interior color is still black, then we change the color to blue. And that means the cell has been visited and if. Then we start a do loop and with the randomize function we're going to set um, a variable uh, direct which is going to be a random number between 1 and 4 and direct is going to say in which direction we are we are moving so if direct equals 1 that let's say that's uh, the, the downwards direction and cells r plus 1 comma c so one um, one cell below interior color is black so that means it has not yet been visited then we're gonna remove the border between the two cells so that's um, cells are comma C interior sorry not interior borders we remove the borders Excel edge bottom line style equals Excel line style none and then we move r equals r plus one we move down and we exit the do loop else else if direction is two and that would be for example moving to the right and cells r comma c plus one interior color is black then we remove the border Excel edge right, the right edge of the border. So setting the line style property to Excel line style none. Oops, line, line style none. And then we move one column to the right and we exit the do here. So we're gonna do the same for the other two directions. So let me just copy paste, that would be easier. Um, so here else if direction is three and that's moving oops three that's moving uh, up R minus one then we remove the top border and we move um, one row up and if direction is four that's moving to the left um, we move um, and the interior color um, is black so 
it was not visited we remove the left border and we move to the left that's not going to happen here because both the left and, and up are uh, white the interior color is white so it's, it's not going to move there it's out of bounds um, then we end, end the if here and close the loop and before we check how it works I'm going to add a message box here to, 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 to ask if we want to make the next move so that we see the process. That's just uh, uh, um, the only purpose of this is to, to see how it works. So if next move equals VV yes, then we call cave maze. So it's going to start all over from here. Let's play init maze up here. So it starts at B2. Initially it was black and we changed the color to blue. And that's just a way of um, noting that the cell has been visited. We, have, we could have used numbers like 1 visited, 0 unvisited, or um, we could add that to a separate sheet so we don't see the process happening, or we could add it to an array. But this method is visual, so we see what's going on. Uh, let's make the next move, and it moves right. It could have moved down or right. It it moved right now it's moving down now um, now it's moving left and now at this point it will not find any unvisited neighbors okay so I'm gonna click no because it won't exit the loop right because it will not find any so we need to add here uh, a variable that's going to be loop count and loop count is going to increment by one and if loop count is greater than five or, 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 or nine then we're going to call another another routine which is going to be a backtrack and we exit the sub we end the if and uh, um, we need to initialize the loop count up here. So loop count equals zero. Let's also declare the variable loop count as an integer. And let's uh, indent all this here so it looks, it looks a bit better. OK, um, and we can also do that. OK, now this is the last um, macro or the last procedure we're going to use and that's backtrack so the first thing we do in backtrack is um, we change the interior color now to white so that means the cell has been visited so th that will happen to this cell here it, it, it will not change to blue anymore um, it will change directly to white that means it has been visited and it has been search all around and there are no unvisited neighbors so you need to go back so that's the back tracker algorithm right so how we do that so we say if um, cells are plus one that's the, the first direction we are going one row below interior color is not white so that was not searched all around before then and sorry and if cells are comma c um, borders xl h bottom in this case so the the, uh, the bottom border um, has no no line so the line style is um, is none then then we can actually move one row below. Now, else if cells are comma C plus one. So in this case, if the cell on the right interior is not white and the border, so borders XL edge right, um, there's no border, basically, line style X lines style none then 
uh, then we can move to the right. And we do the same for the, for the other two directions. So I'm gonna just copy paste this and it's very similar to what we've done before. And else, it will reach a point where it cannot move anywhere, it cannot move back anywhere, so it will exit the sub it, and it's done. Okay, and then here we call cave maze again, so it will go back um, and start all over. So let's see how it works. Let's play again that here. At some point here, it will change the color, whatever it is, it's gonna be random uh, up or down, and whatever it is, it's gonna change the color to white, and then it's gonna go back until it finds another cell with unvisited neighbors that will be here, and it will probably move it up here. So let, let's click yes. So we see it move there. Now it moved here, back, and so on. So I'm gonna click no, and actually I'm gonna remove that message box so let me just or let me just comment it and uh, so we're gonna call directly cave maze and let's see how how that works but before that let me add a um a command button here so that we're gonna associate to init maze and let's play it so now that's how it works So let's make it bigger and add here do events so that and let's see how that looks like. We just need to open the the entrance here to the uh, to the maze and, and the exit, for example, down here on the opposite corner, and and that's it. Uh, that's how we create a maze in Excel using VBA. Thanks for watching. <laughs>